Hello you what's faces and I just filmed that entire video without saying a word, my mic was off. But anyway, welcome to Call of Duty. Oh, I, that, I love the um, emblem on my hat, it glows so nicely, it's like neon. But anyway, welcome to a new video by JTigon. And today, you know what we're playing? We're playing Call of Duty. And I'm going to be showing you how to get the gold camo on the combat shotgun. Okay, so... Let's start. Hello, you busted faces. Today we'll be playing COD World War II. This is the first episode in the Road to Diamond titled COD World War II Road to Gold with the Combat Shotgun. As the name implies, today I'll be teaching you guys how to get the gold combat shotgun as fast as possible. Within this episode, I will give you playlists, play styles, strategies, techniques for maps, as well as cl um, classes, of course, and brushing over the strengths and weaknesses of the gun. Enough chit chat, let's begin. Enough chit chat. Let's begin. Oh, that, that was just pitiful. P pitiful. To get camos on the shotgun, you must perform numerous feats. Most of them just involve getting one shot kills. But when you get up to the bronze, um, copper, and gold, you're going to actually have to try. Uh, also, these um, other three, I mean, they're not that hard. You have to, uh, the, which print is this? The cuss, um, I forgot, the M1916. You, you got to get 10 payback medals with the combat shotgun. Uh, the snow, get 50 kills using the expeditionary division with the combat shotgun. And the leopard, get 50 kills using a division other than expeditionary ex ex ugh, with the combat shotgun. So, the bronze and the copper are the main ones that are going to hold you up. The other three down here, they're not going to be that hard. You just play and you'll, you'll get that easy with the techniques I'm about to give you. So, the copper camp... The bronze camouflage get two rapid kills five times with both kills coming from the combat shotgun and the copper get five kills without dying five times with all kills coming from the combat shotgun i actually feel like that should be gold even the gold is get all the camo i feel like that that's the card one so i mean it, anyway it's fine i'm just yeah ranting so as you can see the majority is getting one shot kills so i'll first teach you how to get that the first thing you need is a playstyle. So to rack up one shot kills, I recommend camping. Not sit in the corner and wait for your enemy to come camping. I mean defend or hold camping. What you want to do is hold an area, run around it, keep it steady, like, you know, hold it. You should run back and forth around the area as it gets, because, um, uh, you should run back and forth around the area that gets a lot of traffic because that's going to get you the most kills. You want it to be medium to short di distance range, ensuring the longevity of your run. You're gonna, so you wanna basically stay alive as long as possible. Because those, um, let's say after you do those, it will allow you to get the bronze and the copper. That's one play strategy. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna call this play strategy camping, even though it's not really camping. But I want you, what you wanna do is stay around the area run after you get a certain number of kills let's say maybe five or seven ish without dying the enemy's team is going to be coming for you because they're going to want revenge you could if you were able to hit most of your shots only having to shoot two bullets at a time then you should be fine but if you had to spend at least three bullets on each shot that means you will probably need to run and re um you will probably either need to run and move to another location um, or just wait for your doom to, uh, or just fight them off. So, the second method I call the assassin method, which will easily allow you to get the copper and bronze medals. What you want to do is run around the map to the enemy's, uh, spawn point, get behind them. When they start spawning in, they it's funny, but they kind of spawn in like a lion. Just hit them starting from the back. One, two, three, four, five. There's maximum six. You might not be able to get all six because of the reload. And by that time, at least, the other two will notice you'll get shot by one. But anyway, you if you get six, that's amazing. I've only got, ever gotten five uh, without them noticing. So take them down. And that can easily get you your bronze kills so use that assassin type to get um the assassin type of skill um to get kills without dying also 
you don't need to just use it to get behind the en enemy base. You can just kind of um, use it to get around the map and play by just taking people out. So, there are more strategies, but these were the ones I felt yielded the best results. For me, that is. Everyone's different. If um, it, all else fails, I mean, you can just camp in the corner if you really want the thing. But nah, you guys will get it. Next up is maps. The best map for using the shotgun in World War II is Point Duhok. But of course, you may not always get it when um, you're getting your... When like the thing is coming up, the, uh, when you're in the middle of a match. So you need to be, pre be, be prepared to deal with any situation. I'm going to show a few overlays of maps and areas in which you can camp in. Well, not... No, well, yeah, I'm just going to call it camping or which you can play in. Basically, choose an area. Stay in the area for a bit and move. Even if you get a lot of kills and you're able to take them down, they will eventually take you down because, let's say, there's three of them, they all throw a bomb and shoot. You're not going to be able to get past all of them. So I do recommend you keep on moving because you will eventually be taken down. What you want to do, as I said before, just stay in the area, move to another area. The other strategy you can use is a um, kind of like a path strategy. One path strategy you could use is a fork, so you go, say, one point. If you haven't noticed about COD World War II, all of the maps are initiated in three, um, well, made in three lanes. So run to one lane, get the kill, maybe get two kills, come back, go to another, come back, go to another, come back. And keep on switching them up because you don't want to stay in a pattern. You want to do a pattern, but don't keep on doing it because you'll... you'll people will catch on but he's over here he's over here he's over here so I'll show an overlay of that as well and last but not least we have the classes so here we go let's go get into the classes oh I was in camera okay let's go to shotgun combat shotgun let's go back so my first class this will um this one does not have exp the burning thing that come the flame bullets that come from exp expeditionary but it does well actually it does oh my gosh that, that's a night no self i was just, I, I had a brain fart anyway this does have this is the expeditionary kill ass i have two one that has it and one that doesn't this will allow you to get your expeditionary kills or just um if you like playing with the fire so Steady aim, better accuracy when firing from the hip. Basically, you don't have to um, zoom in. You could just shoot. I have rapid fire, which allows you to shoot faster because that is one of the weaknesses of the shotgun as well as not being able to shoot far, um, not able to shoot long range. And increased damage fall-off range. I should have said that with this, but anyway, it helps you. Um, so it makes up for both of the shotgun's weaknesses, which you want to do. Uh, for my secondary, I have a pistol because if you're in a shotgun fight and you happen to get into a long range fight, you're probably not going to make it. But let's say you are, um, you can maneuver, get close enough to them so after you, you hit them, get that pistol um, out and sh um, shoot them at least. Um, yeah, shoot them a few times. They should, um, they will most likely die. I'm not saying they will, but three, fr um, three sh shots from the combat shotgun will kill to the chest will kill him which is a lot thinking about reload time that's why of course I have the rapid fire um, you should go with the lethal being a grenade and a um, concussion grenade because that will either for the concussion grenade it will slow your enemies down you can take them out quickly the regular grenade it will make your um, enemies go into frenzy and then you can take them out like that calmly quickly but it will be easier to take them out using the concussion grenade thing about the lethal though is you'll probably you could get some kills if you're good with um, a grenade as um primed I have that so I can get a another attachment allowing me to have three shotgun attachments and that's it for the first class the second class I have as an infantry division I have primes and along with the infantry division this gives me a total of four slots the only thing that I add is one more which is quick draw allows me to shoot my enemies faster and with this, um, this, everything is basically the same. I have, but I do not have the concussion grenade. I just have the um, uh, lethal, the grenade, 
regular grenades. So this does not this class does not call for the concussion grenade because you can also use it by not aiming down your sights. You can run around, keep your sights open, and just shoot. You have to be decently good at aiming. The um, aim assist as well as your um, steady aim will help you uh, keep it steady and get your shots. But you don't have to zoom in, which will allow you to get more kills and um, not have to zoom in, which will take even though small increment of time that could mean that could determine whether you live or die. I'm going to show some footage of all of this as well. It gives overlays. Well, that's it for the classes. You can change these up as much as you want because, of course, it's your play style, it's not mine. So, use these as you wish. This is just a guide, but these classes work brilliantly for me, so hope you'll like them. Okay, let's go over the strength and weaknesses again. Just a little brush over. This, of course, it's a shotgun. It can't shoot far, but with some attachments, you can make it shoot high-medium to just yeah, basically high-medium. But you're, as I said, you may need um, the help of a pistol. A torso shot is a kill, and you're gonna need about three torso shots, or, well, chest shots or chest to torso shots if they are far away and you can actually hit them. This is the guide to the combat shot, getting the gold combat shotgun on Call of Duty World War II. I hope this helps you out. If it didn't. You can just keep on trying, you'll get it, and if my video didn't help you out, there's probably a whole bunch more in the suggestions, and if that doesn't help you, you can make your own strategy, and I promise you, it will win. You have a JTAG on, and ID. Well, it will win if you have Perseverance, like, I can't promise you it's gonna win if you don't have Perseverance. But, as I was saying, you have a JTAG on, and ID, 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 Oaks.